It's time to deep clean, declutter, and reorganize my tiny kitchen in my small studio apartment. I've lived here for four years now, and I'm cleaning parts of this kitchen for the first time. <laughs> Who knows when they were cleaned last before I moved in. First things first, I need to wash my dishes. Pretty sure I say this in every clean with me video, but my sink is tiny. I'm talking hotel kitchenette size sink. So a few dirty dishes can look like a lot in my kitchen. Also needed to clean the lids of my pots since they tend to accumulate a layer of sticky dust over time. I don't have room to store them in a closed space. Time to clean my toaster. It wasn't too bad. I'm pretty sure I cleaned it earlier this year, but it did well with a good wipe down and emptying out the crumb tray. I noticed some grime around the buttons and dial and attempted to clean it out with my scraper. I don't normally do this next step in a normal clean with me, but I needed to get all of my dishes out of my kitchen and I didn't have time to let them air dry. I towel dried them all and moved them into a different part of my apartment. Then it was time to clear away the rest of the counter and stove and empty out all the drawers and cabinets. The entire process from start to finish took four hours. <laughs> Can you believe it? Four hours for this tiny kitchen, and that doesn't include cleaning my fridge or the floating pantry shelf, which I did in two other videos earlier this year. I'll leave them linked down below if you're curious.
I literally cleaned this kitchen from top to bottom, starting with the top of the cabinets. There were some random bits and bobs that were probably forgotten by my landlord up here, and I'm taking them down temporarily to clean, but they'll just live here once I'm done. I also store my cake stand up here, which you'll see gets extremely dusty. I wasn't sure if the inside of my cabinets were dirty or if the paint was worn, so I took before and after shots. Spoiler alert, the paint was worn. <laughs> Hardly any dust or grime to be found, but I did feel better putting my dishes back knowing that the cabinets were even slightly cleaner than before. I started by dusting with my Swiffer. Not much came up on this side of the cabinet, so I used my scrub daddy and water to wipe it up and then added some Dawn Power Wash spray. I did essentially the same process to the inside of the cabinets. top of the right cabinet was far dustier than the left. You can see huge clumps of dust flying off in this video. Here are the clean cabinets. As I said, not much of a difference. Then I moved on to the microwave. You'll see before and after shots shortly. Earlier, you saw me dusting the top and sides of the microwave with my Swiffer. Now I'm cleaning the outside with Dawn Power Wash solution, and on the inside, I spray a solution of diluted vinegar and microwave dip for one minute before wiping out the inside. Off camera, I washed the glass plate in the sink. Next, I cleaned this oven rack. This might have been one of my favorite things to clean since I've been meaning to do it for so long. I used oven cleaner and a microfiber cloth to rid this rack of greasy dust.
Next, I cleaned this dusty cake stand with Dawn Power Wash Spray and my Scrub Daddy. I'm going to use it for a fall decorating project next week. Here I'm using my vacuum to suck up some of the dust clumps before using a Clorox wipe to give my stove a cursory wipe down. I deep cleaned my stove and oven only a few months ago and haven't used it enough to justify another deep clean. I recommend removing the dials on your stove for easier cleanup and washing them in the sink. I store bakeware in the oven for lack of a better place to store it and decided to pull it out in case I wanted to declutter anything. I ended up keeping it all. were even dirtier now from me climbing all over them. I deep cleaned them as well as the walls with Dawn Power Wash Solution and my Scrub Daddy and then wiped with a clean microfiber cloth. I used two different cloths in this whole process. For the drawers, I sucked up any crumbs with my vacuum before wiping them out with a Clorox wipe. I've never cleaned these drawers and I'm pretty sure that stain has been here since I moved in and it grosses me out that I never thought to clean up before now. bottom cabinets had both stains and chipped paint. There isn't anything I can do about the chipped paint right now, but I used a broom to sweep up crumbs, a Clorox wipe to spot clean, and Dawn Power Wash with the Scrub Daddy for the rest. This coffee maker had not gone through the clean setting since I got it for Christmas last year. I filled the tank with half water and half vinegar and selected the clean setting and let it run. Now it's time to have some fun. Not that cleaning wasn't fun too, but I'd been looking forward to using these organizational bits I bought from the dollar store and home goods. Off camera, I cleaned these plastic containers using essential oil to remove sticky residue from the price tag and labels, and then Dawn Power Wash for the rest. I also had to do a quick check to make sure they were going to fit in this drawer. Here's a pile of all my kitchen stuff. A little at a time, I'm putting some things back where I know for sure they're going to go.
here are the lids to the pots that live on that previously grimy oven rack. The video does not do justice to the layer of greasy dust that was on these lids. I also took the time to clean these plastic containers that hold my silverware. I bought these from Ace Hardware early on after moving into this apartment. Now it's time to put things back. The drawer with the new organizers took some experimenting. The containers have lids, so I wanted to make sure that they would close so I can store things on top of them. And I wanted to make sure the utensils I used most were easiest to access. Some of my baking and cake decorating tools had been thrown haphazardly on the top shelf of the left cabinet. Now they're in this plastic basket I bought from Dollar Tree and this simple change makes such a big difference to me. The bottom cabinet took a bit of reorganizing and tetrisy moves to work. I added a shelf to make use of vertical space and used a second plastic basket to hold accessories to my blender and food processor. Off camera, I also cleaned that griddle since it had been covered in crumbs. maker was done cleaning so I ran it through with just water to rinse out any vinegar. This was random but I took the time to tighten these hooks into the wall before replacing my fruit and vegetable basket. Next I wanted to clean and sanitize my dish rack. For the utensil basket, I soaked the bottom in toilet bowl cleaner for about 10 minutes before scrubbing it with my scrub daddy. I used a Clorox wipe for the rest of the rack.
experimented with using that same toilet bowl cleaner to remove the lime scale and stains from the coffee maker plate. It worked a little bit. On a later day, I ended up soaking it longer in the cleaner and it helped to remove a bit more, but it's still not like new. I would love to hear your tips on cleaning the coffee maker hot plate if you have any. Leave them down in the comments if you do. I moved into this studio when my ex-husband and I split up. We'd split up the kitchenwares fairly equitably, so I didn't come into this space with a lot of excess things to begin with. I had accumulated a couple of things since living here, so I was only putting things back in the kitchen that I knew I wanted to keep, which ended up being most of it, leaving behind just a small pile of trash slash donation stuff. And now you're seeing the, the before and afters. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know I had planned on moving out of this apartment this month. I was going to do a lot of deep cleaning once this apartment was empty. With the adjustment of staying here for some time longer, I figured I might as well still do a deep clean of this space and that way I can enjoy it for my last few months of living here. The added benefit is that it'll be easier to clean when it does come time for me to move out. I am so glad I took the time to do this so that I can enjoy a cleaner, more organized space. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I've been feeling inspired lately and have a lot more time on my hands to not only tackle these projects, but to film and edit them as well. So if you're one of those people that are hitting that subscribe button right now, or if you're already subscribed, I will see you in my next video. Bye.